For many years, humans and elephants shared the same habitat, living together in relative peace. But recently, the situation has changed, and lives on both sides have been lost. Here in Zambia, the problem is particularly acute. William Lubinda from the Elephant Pepper Development Trust explains. Due to the population of human beings which have skyrocketed and there's a too much land clearing, a lot of people are making a, a many settlements uh, whereby they are even going to the extent of uh, inhabiting the areas where elephants used to feed and uh, on the other side elephants also multiplying so you find that uh, the land for elephants where they used to feed uh, adequately becomes limited or becomes smaller so they even the elephants will even take advantage of going to attack the, the farmers or the inhabitants where people are, are staying so we have to find ways of how we can um, live side by side, not maybe destroying each other. So those are the things which we have to take into consideration. With both populations growing rapidly, people and elephants are now fighting for the same land. Fearing for their lives and their livelihoods, people often kill or maim the elephants to stop their crops being eaten or trampled on by roaming herds searching for food. A shooting is not a a permanent solution of uh, chasing elephants from uh, or deterring elephants from destroying uh, human life and their crops. So it's just a temporal thing. So killing isn't the solution. The trust has invented a new strategy that doesn't harm the elephants, and it's surprisingly simple. Chili pepper or pepper uh, is a very good stuff to deter elephants because it does not cause a a, a long-term damage is just a temporal thing, which is very uh, poisonous. In Chile, there is a chemical called capsaicin. Uh, it's the one which makes the chili to be very hot, at the same time uh, making it uh, to have a, a smell which is very strong. Elephants are more sensitive animals. The sense of smell and taste is a hundred times than of ours, the human beings. The effect on, the, uh, on, on in elephants, the chilies, is very, very uh, high. By cultivating chili peppers, the trust introduced local farmers to a valuable extra income, as well as to various ways of protecting themselves from elephants. These include chili briquettes, where chilies are mixed with animal dung and burned to produce smoke. Buffer crops, where chilies are planted around the field as an added deterrent. And smearing existing fences with chili oil so that elephants are put off by the scent and run away. Malamo and Esnat Nyambe are farmers who have tried these techniques on their farm and have already seen the benefits. Yes, I mean, to begin with, we were doubting Thomas's. We didn't know that they would work. But when we had an attack and we chased these animals, we had only a small chili uh, fence which we had. Now, instead of going in that direction where the chili fence was, they chose to go back through the same route they they came from and it surprised us because there were quite many. I think there were about 24. So instead of spreading around to run into all these directions, but they just used the same route where they came from and they avoided the chill fence which we, we put up. So we thought, no, this thing must be effective. It is possible for humans and elephants to coexist. By sharing initiatives like this chili pepper project, farmers in Africa can find peaceful solutions to living alongside elephants.